Hey Odessa? Is it just me or does this map look different? I don't know, man. I don't remember there being a sign right here. Also, Odessa? Who the hell is that? <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm really getting the creeps. Something is not right here. Uh, Odessa? Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Gary's Mod Showcase. And today we're going to do something I should have done a long time ago. If you guys do remember the original Midge Bags video I did, we definitely did a video on this map. Of course, it's been updated numerous times. Pretty much, it's supposed to bring back the true essence of what Construct used to be, or of course, Construct Beta. This map has definitely gone through a bunch of different iterations. I mean, I think the background even looks different, so that's something to start with. But there's going to be a lot of things to go over, so I do hope you guys enjoy. No minge bags in this video, we're gonna go over some of the more interesting aspects of this map, but fear not, there's definitely something off about this map. There's a lot of easter eggs and secrets that are very fun to uncover, hopefully we can see a few in today's video. So first things first, we have the black room. The black room honestly does not look any different, it's pretty much unchanged. If there was something creepy that was going to happen, this is the first place I would check. So now we're going to go into here, and already these tunnels look very strange from what we're used to on Construct. Definitely don't have anything like this at all in the regular... Wait, is this like a full-blown maze? Okay, cool. So this tunnel leads to one of the main towers. We're going to actually go all the way down to the other one here, because this leads into even more stuff. So here we have... Wait, is this... Oh, interesting. So we go into the mirror room, and the mirror room then now goes into this new building over here. And then if you go all the way down, it kind of goes back to the spawn area. Nothing too creepy so far. In fact, I'm really digging this actually. But there's some new additions as well, besides just these new hallways. That thing I said about minge bags? <laughs> um. Ow. Okay, so. Don't... Wait. You know what's funny? Someone commented that this is a real person. When you see minge bags like this. However, I don't have the minge bags installed. So now I'm wondering how we can see this. I guess minge bags is just built into the map. Wait, can I pick it up? No. <laughs> this is so weird. If this is actually like a real person, that's so interesting. Alright, so while that Midge Bags is doing its own thing, we can go into the light room, which now has a door. Good luck finding your way out. And also, I didn't even realize this at first, but the mirror room has lights on the top now. Oh, I can hear something walking. What? What was that? Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I'm st Wait, cough, cough, cough. What the? <laughs> what? Yeah, so again, I didn't get this last time I played on this map, so... There's definitely either a few new things, or quite a few things I missed the first go-around. Alright, well, we can see the Midge Bags is definitely doing his thing. Painting some textureless stuff everywhere. I don't even know where he went. But something that's pretty cool, guys, is these pipes, they actually do have fast zombie nodes on them. So, if you for some reason wanted to spawn in some fast zombies, then they theoretically should climb up this. Let's actually go ahead and test this. Oh, look at that! Perfect! So for some reason, if you're playing Zombie Survival, by the way, mod to something like that in the top right corner, then this is going to definitely be something that adds some immersion to that gameplay. Okay, okay, so this is all cool stuff, but let's really dive into what's new here. So, I've heard things of entities. I've heard a lot of things, in fact, of entities. Um, this building, by the way, is completely different. You can go all the way to the top now, which normally you can only go through like a few of the floors. Yeah, it goes all the way to the roof. Oh, that is pretty sick. And I think this also has the pipes on it. Um, no, it doesn't. Never mind. God, I keep thinking I see something in the corner of my eye. It could be a midge bags. Be mindful that that is definitely still a possibility in this map. All right, so why don't we go ahead and check out the tall building here. And this building, as you can see, has definitely changed. Not only do we have access to the tunnels, Hopefully nothing creepy happens. But you also have access to climb all the way to the top with many, many, many different floors to explore. Oh, and look at this. We have a cool little secret room with a Discord and I can only assume is the creators. That's pretty awesome, man. I love the Gmod community, but check this out. There's a button on the back. Oh, 
<laughs> it's a freaking rave! Alright, so that Antland Guard is gonna have a heyday. Alright, while well, all that crazy stuff is going on up there, we're just gonna chill out here. Maybe we'll see another minge bag? Oh no. This is what you gotta be afraid of, guys. That's right. I think that's like Half-Life 1 Gordon Freeman. So you're gonna see this black entity everywhere. They tell you not to approach it. I'm gonna do it anyway, because we're recording, so why not? Oh. He's looking at us now. Oh, this is so weird. I thought he would disappear. Is he like our buddy? Yo, that rave is still going crazy up there. Can we like... Oh, we can't pick him up. Can we shoot him? I don't know, man. That... The fact that he's not doing anything is probably even more creepy because now I'm wondering why he's even here. Alright, so while that's doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in here because there's a new addition into the water, of course. This goes into the pool room. Nothing really too fancy, but if you did want to test out some of your water vehicles, then I guess you could do it in here. And this, of course, leads into another tunnel system, which I believe does connect to the main tunnels. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Alright, I don't want to freak you guys out, but that black entity is gone. I don't know where he went. Uh, I don't even know why he was even there. I've seen him before, but he usually disappears when you get too close. Oh. Oh. Black Kleiner? I did not think I would see that. What if we go up here? Where'd he go? Oh man, this is really creeping me out now. I don't remember there being a dark Kleiner like that. Oh, there he is again! Okay, we can't lose him now. I need to see this for myself. Hey, get over here. I feel like he's luring us somewhere. I mean, obviously up here there's not really a whole lot going on except for, well, them. Oh, and of course we do gotta check out the secret room. Classic construct. Is there anything new in... Whoa. Alright, this is a bit more complex than I thought it was going to be. Did not expect there to be secret vents. So I'm pretty sure this was either new or definitely something we missed before. Once again, guys, that's why we're doing this. Because honestly, I kind of feel bad that we didn't do a proper showcase. Okay. I'm hearing weird stuff. A lonely... Okay, the combat soldier actually killed the antlion guard. A lonely chair with a light and nothing else in here. That is definitely not boding well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just try to leave this place. See, I don't even know where we are, actually. All right, there's got to be some kind of significance to this room. Uh, oh, is the light going out or is that just me? All right, guys, so there is a lot of cool things. For instance, there is a curse detector you can get to spawn. You have to wait by the door for like 10 seconds and then someone comes running out of it. And then you have to like stop them from jumping off of the building. If you guys do remember that, we did do a video on that already, and it was pretty intense. Honestly, I just want to kind of see if I can get it to work again. Oh, there she is! Yup! That's crazy! So, it, it amazes me how much weird stuff is in this game. So pretty much our goal is we just have to prevent her from actually dying, and then, well, that does that. We're not going to recreate that, because we've already done a video on that. So apparently there's even more secrets than I initially thought, because check this out. You can break through this, <clears throat> and there's a secret vent. Going into this vent is going to take you to one of two areas. One, it can take you into this very dark room, which we're not going to do. Or two, it can take you here. Pretty creepy. This man's doing dope. We got the creepy baby from Half-Life 2, and we got who apparently is a minge bag, and some other player with... Oh no. That's right, it's the dark figure. Pretty much this paints the picture of what this map is all about. Pretty eerie. Hold on a second, did my... F Wait. My flashlight keeps turning off. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, did you guys see that? There was some kind of figure there. Haven't seen a minge bag in a while. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, there he is. There's our buddy, Mr. Kleiner. 
You're not getting away this time. Oh my god, mistakes were made. Do not hit Kleiner. And of course it played the creepy Half-Life 2 baby noise. Alright, last up, what we're gonna... What the hell just happened? <laughs> That's not what I wanted to show off. So, if you spawn an item, and you try to block the entrance of the dark room, Let's just say weird things happen. The door gets launched off and then, well, seemingly vaporized. I don't know why this happens. It's so bizarre. Like, this is just one of the many things on this map that are just really creepy. Oh. Is that Gri- Yep, that was Grigori. You're gonna also notice the chair is gone. So I do kind of remember parts of this from the initial video we did. I definitely don't want to make two videos of the same thing, but hopefully you guys did see enough new stuff to make you more interested in this map. And I didn't even show you everything. There's so much cool things in this map and I want you guys to experience some of it for yourself. So let me know down below, what is your favorite Easter egg in this map down below? And as always guys, if you did like this video, leave a like, subscribe, all the links are in the description. I want to thank you guys for watching and until next time, well, farewell.